Mauricio at Gunmark TV and today I'm just going to show you uh, a custom stock that's on the market now. Now basically we've all got PCPs like this, this is just the action obviously out of a, um, an Air Arms 500. Um, now basically you, can, you have factory stocks that we all, they all come with and we're, we like them to greater or lesser degrees but once you decide you want a custom stock um, then you, you're going to look for some specialised woodwork that's going to do a bit more than the factory model. And what we've got here is a brand new stock. This is the Chieftain from a company called Form. They're based in Devon um, and they're basically, these are all made from laminate, which is uh, obviously sort of bonded layers of wood. Very uh, sophisticated process that they're using. And these are extremely um, well made, all on CNC machinery. Now I'll just show you, for, before we go into the features of this, um, basically if you had your original action, it's all, what keeps it nice and simple is it's only one Allen bolt which holds the PCP action onto your original stock. So I've obviously got rid of the stock on this one already. So we'll just show how this just drops into the new woodwork, like so. And then underneath one nice chunky bolt, drop that in. You've got your little washer, make sure your washer's on it. That stops it biting into the wood. Use the right Allen key and just, just gently tighten that up. I'd always say with these, because it's PCP, you've got no recoil to worry about. So don't over tighten anything. Always use the small end of the Allen key and then that lessens the torque you're putting on it. There's no need to over tighten. Once you can feel that's hand tight, tweak it up a little bit more. That's it, job done. That was literally the fitting of that stock. So as you can see, anyone can do it. And then um, you've now got your custom woodwork in place. Now I've got the, um, this is the black version here. They do various colors um, from form. I'll just quickly, we can confirm that to you afterwards but this is you've got red and black ebony classic camouflage royal jacaranda arctic blue and black and walnut classic so quite a selection to go with here now obviously what they're doing also with this stock is that really makes it stand out is the contrasting cheap piece again all, it's all made out of laminate so it's really nice stable woodwork so it's it's that's part of the reason why people fit these because it's it really is if you, if you want sort of serious competition style shooting then you've got um then laminate is obviously the sort of way to go it's become trendy but the, the technical performance of it is very impressive now looking at this stock as you can see you've got the nice um pattern emerge as they cut it out you've got laser applied um, sort of check, semi checkering quite an original sort of almost fish scale style on there around the fore end you've got a lovely contoured uh, grip here around the pistol grip it's all ambidextrous actually on the grip but I've got large hand but that just drops into place beautifully so you've got contoured finger um, again the laser applied checkering there Moving back, you've got the fully adjustable cheek piece. Now, if you look in there, that's your main metal adjuster. So whereas normally you'd often have to reach for an Allen key just to adjust your cheek piece, on this, just put that down, you just depress that spring-loaded button, and then that snaps into place. And you can just do it to a greater or lesser degree. So you've got fingertip control for the adjuster there. Um, this is these are 525 as it comes here with the adjustable cheek piece. Uh, it's 625 pounds if you want the adjustable cheek piece and then also an adjustable butt. Um, as this one's come, you've got I believe they call it a limb saver um, on the, the the butt there. Very nice soft rubber, so everything's extremely high quality. Um, so that, that finishes it off nicely. You've got the manufacturer form there picked out. Um, it's, it's sort of all slim line, so you've lost wood where you don't need it, but then you've got um, nice sort of a beefy forend, um, etc. 
where, where you do need it. Looking underneath, you can see that obviously this all this is it's done for models. So this is made for air arms to cover their 400 and 500 series. So any of those will literally just drop straight in with the one um, bolt. You can see the recess obviously for the factory reg, um, manometer that's on the rifle. So again, it's all made specifically for these models. Underneath there, you've got they're specifying this as an Anschutz accessory rail. Um, so that means really that uh, it's a nice and neat model, but obviously any standard size accessory that snaps onto us, they're, they're virtually standardized now, these accessory rails. So most bipods and um, hamsters, etc., will snap onto that. We've got the main stock, um, and it's deliberately designed in conjunction with um, some accessories. Now, um, Form have done a tie up with Spartan, and obviously, Spartan make these high quality units. There's a whole range of these. Stockers designed to take one of them at the fore end. They're, it's using strong magnets, so all you got to do to take out the very neat blanking um, plate, just hold the magnet up to it. You can pull out the blanker, take that off, and put that somewhere safe, and then just push your unit into place. Now, depending on the way you round, you put that. I've put it in. Um, with the, the controller at the front, that allows for it to swivel. If you put it in the other way, you lock it in place with no movement. This is, as I say, they're all different styles and designs, but that is, um, that's very, very neat. You've got that instantly in place and it's not going anywhere with the strong magnet. So that's for Spartan accessories, all optional extras, obviously. The main accessory rail is for the fitting of a hamster. I mean, obviously you can put other accessories on there, but four make their own hamster palm rests. And um, this is a very nice example of one here. So I'd say it's all different colors that these are available in. And um, it's very nicely machined parts as well. So in order to fit this, it's easier to take off that, um, un slacken off the Allen key there, do that, and then this should pull straight out. I'll do that. And pull the mounting clip out. And then that's got, as you can see there, an internal little rail. And it's all about getting the tension right on there. So just slacken that off with your Allen key. And then that slides into the rail. So then you can feel that's now inside. I'll just nip that up. So we've got some, uh, just bear with me there, I'll just nip that up slightly. So you're not totally tightening it, you just nipped it up so it can move. You can feel it move along there. And then um, we apply With here you need to sort of just pull that back rail up to allow the two legs to go in. You can see they go in the top there. That's it, and those slide on there. Now that will obviously, you can set that at your right height. For the moment, um, just nip it, nip it up fairly low so it's gripping the bars like so. And now we can just move that along the rail to the desired point. So once you're happy with that, you tighten up the internal Allen key. So, so it's a little bit the, the way they've they've got the legs quite close, so you've not got a lot of uh, room to manoeuvre. There we are. And then once again, once you with all these things, once you're feeling resistance, a tiny nip more. You don't need to overdo it. That's totally tight. And now again with this. You can set that to the right height, play around with it on the practice range, nip that up, and then you've got <coughs> the perfect hamster palm rest at the fore end. You can see all that height, it's giving you masses of height for elevated shots, and obviously you can lower that so you've got you can close that gap up and um, you, you can sort of lessen the height as well. So basically you set that and adjust that play around on the practice until you everything feels right. And that accompanied uh, with the movable comb, set the height of that, you suddenly got total adjustment. And um, this 
you know, it, it really is a, a, a massive improvement over factory stock. The factory stock with all these guns, especially from air arms, is high quality unit. It'll, it'll do the job for sort of average hunting, etc. But once you want to go into a specialised field like competition shooting, especially something like this chieftain stock, um, just transforms the handling. I'll just quickly show you that they're also, this is for obviously the air arms model, but they're also doing it. I've got one here and this is all inletted out for the Viro 100, um, but there's several models they're doing it for, um, BSA, etc. Um, so yeah, it's it's a lovely stock if you, if you want to go down that route. Not cheap, but the, the quality of the uh, manufacturer is excellent. So that's the form chieftain stock.